We didn't get the victory, but we won the world. Stay tuned. Big things coming after this, man. We about to take over the world after this, man. I got my feet wet at the top of the top at the top of the pinnacle of boxing. Twenty-two thousand sold out arena for my first title shot, man. Had the whole Vegas on smash. You know, had the whole New York on smash. Had Puerto Rico on smash. Had the whole Mexico on smash. You know, so that just goes to show you that. You know, I'm the next one up in line. God is great, man, and I just want to give all glory to Jesus Christ, man. He's the one that, you know, paved the way for me through my hard work. And with him aligning the stars correct, man, you know, we, we, we're here, you know. You know, God is good, man. Edgar Berlanga is a name that's been buzzing in the boxing world, especially after his much-anticipated showdown with Canelo Alvarez. But what's been happening with Berlanga since then? Has his stardom truly shot through the roof? Or is this just a phase of heightened attention that people are capitalizing on? Today, we're going to break down Berlanga's post-Canelo life, everything from his feuds with Caleb Plant and Gervonta Davis to his high-profile public appearances. How much does the fit cost? Because I see the chain here. I need the sunglasses for this. You gotta, you gotta break it down a little bit here. This is about like a thousand, thousand, thousand right here. This is about a uh, buck 20, 120,000. This right here is like, 300 is a you know the richer milli so you know this last you know it's, it's just, this is my style like I, I like the I like the jewelry I like the clothes you know it's nothing wrong with me it's, it don't mean that I'm I'm arrogant or or I'm flamboyant or I just want to act like I'm I'm all this big shit you know I'm 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 me this is me you know people like to drive cars you know Trinidad I spoke to Trinidad Trinidad told me he was like yo like he said how you like your clothes and your jewelry I love cars I love those fast cars and he I was driving in his car and he he has a GTR he has a whole bunch of race cars. So everybody likes their things, you know, and I feel like this is me, you know, flashy. The fight against Canelo Alvarez was undoubtedly a pivotal moment in Edgar Berlanga's career. It seems like his name has been everywhere since that bout, from social media buzz to public appearances. But is this rise in attention a true indicator of his growing stardom? Or are people just using his time in the limelight to boost their own profiles? Some say Berlanga's newfound fame is no accident. His hard-hitting style and charisma have made him a fan favorite, especially among Puerto Rican and Mexican boxing fans. Others think this could be just a temporary surge in attention. While the spotlight is still on him, brands and influencers are riding the wave of his exposure. Either way, Berlanga's name is ringing louder than ever. Since the Canelo fight, Edgar Berlanga has been embracing his heritage and celebrating in style. He's been spotted multiple times in Puerto Rico, having the time of his life. One notable moment was when he rode through the streets at night, surrounded by an army of fans trailing behind him. This scene alone speaks volumes about his influence in Puerto Rican culture. But that's not all. Berlanga has been seen on some of the biggest stages in mainstream culture. He threw out the first pitch at a New York Mets game, making it clear that he's crossing over into other arenas of fame. Then there was his appearance at the BET Awards. He was seen with his longtime friend and mentor, the legendary rapper Fat Joe. Moments like these are helping to cement Berlanga's place not just as a boxer, but as a public figure. Edgar Berlanga has also been seen making moves outside the ring. Recently, he took a trip to Mexico, where he received a lot of love, not just from his girlfriend, but from the Mexican community as well. Despite the historical rivalry between Mexican and Puerto Rican fighters, Berlanga has managed to gain respect from Mexican fans, thanks in part to his humility and dedication to the sport.
This cross-cultural admiration is only adding to his global appeal. Now, what's a rising star without a few feuds? Since fighting Canelo, Berlanga has been involved in a notable feud with Caleb Plant. I'm gonna knock you out, bro. I'm gonna knock you no, out. No, Take no, your glasses off. No. I'm gonna knock you out, yeah. I'm gonna knock you out. 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 Take your glasses off. For what? Fans are buzzing that this could be a huge fight in the making. Plant is a formidable opponent, and a fight between these two would surely draw massive attention. Could this be the next big match for Berlanga? Yeah, I mean. We spot with him, fuck him up. Yeah, we, we sparred with him in Vegas. We beat oh, really? his ass. Oh, you oh. sparred with Caleb Plant yeah, when I was young. Yeah, when I was young. Oh. When you were 19? Yeah. Word? Yeah, facts. We did six rounds, and he was like, the first like five rounds, he was like running around the ring, doing his little showboat and stuff. And then in the sixth round, I hit him with a crazy body shot, and he jumped out. He know, like, we was pressing for to do two more, to do one more, and he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do more rounds. Nah. On the other hand, there's the ongoing back and forth between Berlanga and Gervonta Tank Davis. You and Tank been going back and forth the last couple of days online. Yeah, he's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a hater and he's a diva. He look like a dyke. He was talking mad shit about me on some hating stuff. He's a hater. He's always looking for something to build up his fight. Start controversy with Floyd Mayweather so he could get his pay-per-views and all his ticket sales going. He's a clown though. And I don't fuck with him. And he not allowed in Puerto Rico either. If you go to Puerto Rico, they're gonna strip him butt naked over there. Despite the fact that they're not in the same weight class, the drama between the two fighters has stirred up headlines. But let's be real, a fight between Berlanga and Davis is unlikely to happen. So what's the real reason behind this feud? I'm about to go rob something. Y'all know me, I'm dangerous. Is it Berlanga's way of staying relevant? Or is Tank using Berlanga's rise to promote his own upcoming fights? Either way, the tension is driving conversations in the boxing world. At this point, the question becomes, is Edgar Berlanga maximizing this moment in the spotlight? His public appearances, celebrity connections, and feuds all suggest that he's doing everything he can to keep his name hot. Oh shit. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, okay. Whether he's attending events like the BET Awards or throwing pitches at Mets games, Berlanga is making sure people are talking about him. But the real test will come in the ring. Can Berlanga keep up this momentum when he faces his next opponent? Possibly Caleb Plant? Or will this just be a brief moment of fame, fading as quickly as it came? Good luck and enjoy your first and last pay-per-view experience. Only time will tell. What do you think? Is Edgar Berlanga's post-Canelo stardom here to stay? Or is this just a short-lived phase? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the latest boxing news. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.